Thank you, Art. I'm standing here at the corner of 141 and 44, and it's damn wet. Well, the extreme wetness started its reign of terror on Boxing Day, December 26. Within hours, parents were forcefully bringing their kids to see the wetness. Citizens remained calm as helicopters buzzed above. No truth to the rumor that the horrible pop song Whip It Nene had anything to do with the deluge. Here, ostracized smokers from Bob Evans get a good look at the new lakefront. Many that I interviewed said they just came down to consider their dining options. This gentleman, for example, walked all the way from Kimswick just for a Starbucks cafe latte. Faithchurch.com denies any responsibility for the flooding, although their billboard does look conspicuously dry. Area broadcasters showed up with their top-notch video equipment, show-offs. Yet to see a major newscaster, though. I'm looking at you, Lester Holt. Undaunted, this man continues to walk forward. Well done. We have a verified report that kids can still eat free on Tuesdays. Did you catch anything? No. Well, that's it. Live from the corner of Highway 141 and Highway 44... The wetness continues. Forget Stoneman News, I'm just some guy.